and I give the floor to the representative of Germany. Christoph. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Mr. President. Let me start also by thanking the, the briefers and uh, start with uh, Olaf. Um, thanks for reminding us about the important role that the EU, that the um, several high representatives have played on the JCPOA file. But uh, allow me to pay a special tribute to the uh, to Helga Schmidt, who was the Secretary General of the European External Action Service and some, some, something like or somebody like the godmother of the JCPOA, who after so many years has now become the Secretary General of the OSCE. I would um, also like to thank you, um, Philip, and your predecessor, Mark, and your teams for um, the dedicated work as facilitator over um, the last couple of years. And last but not least, I'd like to thank uh, Rosemary Di Carlo. Um, I would like to thank you also in general for all the many briefings uh, you have given while we were in the Security Council, but specifically also um, I would like to thank you for the continuing and um, ongoing support of the Secretariat, of the Secretary General himself um, to the implementation of Resolution 2231. And in this context, I would like to pick up um, a, a point that was made by our Russian colleague, and that has to do with the um, discussions um, that are running in parallel in the Fifth Committee. I support the point that he has made, and we should um, do everything. We should stand united in blocking the attempts of um, um, our U.S. partners to um, cut um, funds from the Secretariat, cut posts from the Secretariat, um, um, from those tasks that um, follow and are responsible for 2231. Um, our position on the JCPOA um, has not changed. Um, I like to refer to what my French colleague um, earlier said um, as the E3. Um, France, um, United Kingdom and Germany, we have worked tirelessly to preserve the agreement. Um, just yesterday at the informal virtual meeting of the JCPOA participants at ministerial level, all the remaining participants had uh, reaffirmed uh, their, their commitment and they have um, equally acknowledged the prospect of a return of the U.S. to the agreement and um, underline to their readiness to positively um, address this in a joint effort. Um, however, also, as my French colleague um, uh, laid down, the foreign ministers also discussed the implementation challenges that we currently face. And uh, there is a pressing need for Iran to stop all actions um, that are contrary to its nuclear-related commitments and uh, refrain from further action that might violate and uh, hollow out the JCPOA. Um, Iran needs to return to full compliance with the JCPOA, and uh, we are deeply concerned about um, the installation by Iran of advanced uh, centrifuges at the fuel enrichment plant in, in Natanz. Um, this would be a clear violation of the JCPOA. We are also concerned that um, if, if it's um, implemented, um, the recent law pass, passed by the Iranian parliament that would substantially expand um, Iran's nuclear program in violation of the JCPOA, and it would also um, uh, limit IAEA's monitoring um, access. With regard to Annex B of the resolution, let me reiterate that we consider um, uh, that we continue to consider Iran's development of nuclear capable ballistic missiles and related technologies as inconsistent uh, with paragraph three of Annex B to resolution 2231. Um, Annex B also contains the prohibition of transfers of MCTR listed items to and from Iran. Colleagues, on, on many files on the agenda um, of the Security Council, the situation is bleak. Um, the Iran nuclear file is not necessarily so. Um, 
Resolution 2231 uh, survived uh, four years of frontal attacks. Um, 2231 remains a cornerstone of um, um, the non-proliferation and security architecture in the region. Um, and um, I would like to thank all around the table contributed to preserve the JCPOA and a special tribute here to um, the ambassadors, um, Dani and Abari from Indonesia and uh, Niger um, during their presidencies. Um, back, in, back in place, um, we should um, back in place um, of um, the JCPOA, um, we should also jointly then address the wider challenges in the, in the region. Um, and also, um, we have to continue to react to the dismal human rights uh, record of, of Iran. Mr. President, let me end with a, a personal remark. Um, in a little more than a week, Germany's current Security Council membership will come to a close. And um, this is why today um, is... Um, most likely, one never knows, Germany's last meeting on the Council together um, with um, my other four, four colleagues. Um, these were two years of um, um, close cooperation, of common goals and um, of friendship um, with everybody. And I want to sincerely thank you for all of this. Um, I will not forget this. I also want to thank my wonderful and dedicated team here at the German House. We worked hard during the last two years to uphold the respect for international law, international humanitarian law, and international human rights law with the Charter of the UN and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights at the core. We always called a spade a spade. Um, we know that we did not only make friends, our Russian and Chinese colleagues last Wednesday didn't make a secret of their disapproval of such a transparent approach and thus our work in the Council. The um, Council has been known for its frank exchanges of positions and it is only functional if we continue with um, open deliberations. Um, in fact, I started my time here with the claim that we have to stop with uh, preconceived statements, uh, some, something I tried to maintain throughout the years. But um, we um, let me also say this, we will not be uh, deterred by the disdain against those telling the truth. To the contrary, we'll continue to fight um, for the respect of international law, be it in the wider Middle East, in Ukraine, or in the South China Sea. We will defend international law and human rights in Syria, in Yemen, in Libya. We will remain engaged um, to improve the fate of the Yazidi, the Uyghurs, the Rohingya, and continue to care for humanitarian aid workers like the um, White Helmets. Um, on the issue of Syria last Wednesday, um, Dimitri Demistas fake the New York Times Pulitzer Prize story on the Russian bombing of hospitals in Idlib and pointed to a Spiegel uh, story on the White Helmet uh, member. And uh, as my Russian colleague, as Dimitri, thinks highly of the Spiegel, I ask him to pick it up again and read the story about the FSB's attempt to poison Mr. Navalny. Mr. President, um, I will very soon retire after 40 years in Germany's diplomatic service. I'm looking at uh, activities of other um, retirees. And uh, Michael Kovrig came into my field of view, a fellow Canadian diplomat who joined the International Crisis Group after retirement and who has been held hostage together with Michael Spaber for two years now after Canada's decision at U.S. request to detain a Chinese technology executive. While the Chinese executive spends her time in a seven-bedroom mansion in Vancouver, Michael Kovrig has been confined to an isolated small cell in Beijing. Some of you might dismiss this as just two singular cases among a whole range of issues 
that the Security Council has to deal with on a daily basis. However, they are not singular and they cannot be dismissed. They represent so many others. This council will lose its legitimacy if it ceases to be concerned about the fate of individuals, about their protection and security, their human rights and their freedoms, their well-being and their aspirations. Therefore, let me end my tenure in the Security Council by appealing to my Chinese colleagues to ask Beijing for the release of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spaber. Christmas is the right moment for such a gesture. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Mr. President, and uh, compliments on your presidency. Um, it was wonderful to have been together with you and the other four colleagues um, in the last two years in the Council to pick up Swen's words. Um, now the um, E5 that remain are the grown-ups and um, we wish good luck to the rookies five um, that they take over in, in January. Good luck to you and, and good luck in um, upholding the rules-based international order. Thank you all. I thank the representative of uh, Germany for his statement and uh, remarks as he go into a sunset of his uh, civil service career.